so different for the, the age. I mean, it was a great driving car. The suspension on it, it handled very, very well. Uh, you could get them with uh, the convertible top as well as the hard top. So they were kind of a year-round car. The 113 uh, has the nickname of Pagoda, and it's because of the roof. It has a, the Pagoda-designed roof, which means that the, the middle is sunken and the outsides are actually raised. It uh, allowed for bigger windows, so you have greater visibility. Uh, it was designed by Paul Brock. They are a great starter uh, car to get into the brand because so many of the parts um, for this car are still available through Mercedes-Benz. Now, even today, when you're driving down one on the road, you really wouldn't realize that you were in, uh, you know, a 50-year-old car. What's so unique about this shop is that we have the drawings, we have the blueprints, um, and we know the history of them. So we're, you know, we're putting them back the way they were meant to be. We don't want to turn, you know, send anything out the door that we're not 100% satisfied with. It's not, it's not a hobby, you know, this is what I'm passionate about. I grew up doing things with my hands, and so that, this is very rewarding on a daily basis. You know, you can step back and see what you've done and what you've accomplished. It kind of takes you back a little bit of nostalgia, and you just feel like you're, so much of your day-to-day -day is you're always hurrying from one place to the next, um, and I feel like I'm really never in a hurry in anywhere in this car, and so it's a very kind of relaxing, sort of peaceful experience. The car and I are basically the same age, uh, and so I, I sort of like the idea that the car was made, I mean this particular car, when I was born, and so it's kind of a fun thing. Uh, I would say probably first and foremost, I always thought it was a very beautiful car, and uh, you know, in terms of wanting a car you know, that I'd be able to drive on a regular basis, I loved sort of the 60s time period and the sort of understated, I think, elegance and beauty to the car. Well, I certainly like to think the future of the car will certainly be with me for you know, many, many years to come. Cars now, are, whether it be a lease or whatever, there's a certain disposableness to them. And I like the idea of hopefully having the car for the rest of my life. Um, certainly at some point, you know, I have a young son now, but as he gets older, uh, I'd love for him to be able to experience it and drive it.